Hello guys, and welcome to the next episode! Mambo's Pond! Crazy Tracy, Mambo's Pond. Anyway, we've got some stuff to do. Uh, I think it'd actually be easier on me if I go this way. It doesn't matter. I don't want to have to deal with that freaking water. Is that a purple? No, okay, it's blue. Hey, I, have more I don't think it would be that easy to get a purple. That would be amazing, though. Yeah. And we're here, huh? Easy. Mr. Wright, give him the letter. What's this? A letter for me? I'm so happy. I'm so happy! And look, the letter came with the photograph. That's not Goat! That's Princess Peach! Also, I think I like the original 8-bit artwork instead of this one. Hmm. Hmm, she's so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. Hmm, well, it looks like all I have is this broom. How will that be? That's fine. Fine. Maybe we can jump on it and ride around. I think I know where to take that already. Does it go to maple and syrup? <laughs> Crap, I didn't read the text for it, though. I oh well, the viewers can read it while it was there. Hey, what if we go back to the goat and tell her that we delivered the letter? Is that how we get our seashell? Oh. Not going down the hole. No, wait. You should okay, warp yeah, back I, to I put that village. one on there. I can't warp to Mabe Village. No, but there's a warp right outside. Could also just run there. <laughs> I wonder which way would have actually been faster. I wonder if this doesn't seem like there's any warp points over here. That sucks. Nope. Not unless you get a warp point by ramming a tree. Did you get the treasure chest in the forest that you have to move the rock for? Move the rock for? Yeah. Uh, I think I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did that near the end of an episode once. Okay. Ow. I just... Sometimes I forget what we've done because it's been so long since we recorded. In well, this particular game's case, I think it's been over a week. <laughs> yahoo! Yahoo! A new broom! For me? Is it? Isn't it? Yes. It is, isn't it? No, 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 no. Okay, in return, you can have this fishing hook I found when I swept by the riverbank. No, 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 no. That looks like a dangerous hook. What will the fishing hook become? <laughs> it won't become. The game anything. is catching on to the g uh, game of trade, isn't it? Yeah. By the way, this is all based on a story where a guy had, like, a really small item. I don't remember what it was. You guys remember what it was? And he ended up turning it into something really great. By I know where it. you go with fishing hooks. You go to the fishing guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna try to catch a fish? Let's see if there's anything good in here. If there's a super big fish, you should go for it. No, just the small ones. <laughs> This guy looks bigger than the one downstairs. Come on, go for it. Come on. You know you want it. There we go. You can do it, Michael, come on. Didn't I catch one of these already and got buffed yeah. from it? You got money, and it was more than what you spent. Come on! A little bit more. Got it! He Mine almost snapped too. Yeah, he almost broke the line right at the end. 23.65. 20 rupees. That's a 10 rupee profit. Well, he didn't want the hook. I wonder where I go with the Captain of Hooks. He if you know anything about Link's Awakening, I mean, not Link's Awakening, but uh, a link to the past. You might know exactly where this hook goes. Of course I know where it goes. I'm playing like, dumb for the viewers. Well, obviously. I'm throwing out a hint. A fingus. I don't remember. Cheap, cheap. Ha! <laughs> How fitting right now, huh? And there's a shell. Oh, crap, there is. 
Well, it went also, off. we can't get a return on investment. I just got the ability to swim. I got a fishing hook. Now I got cheap crap crap. Well, I guess we're going for the bomb. <laughs> uh, well, this ain't gonna work. Nope. <laughs> I let go too early. I think it's further back than it was likely. That was the worst crane game of uh, all time. Ever. <laughs> well, I had to screw up at some point. I was doing so good. Except for those times the rupees jumped out. Whoosh! Rupees. Well, that was hardly your fault. It was the game's <sighs> fault. Give me a cheap cheap. Oh, all the cheap cheap just to to and we know where out. this cheap cheap goes too. Um, back house. Pretty sure. Also, now it is time to try to grab this thing. Oh, I hit the wrong button apparently. And now we have to wait because it will take forever for it to come back to us. Uh, this looks iffy. Escape this, B. Ah! It did, but it didn't matter. <laughs> like I said, it looked iffy. All right, that's one more shelf. Maybe I'll be lucky, and there'll be a heart piece in here next time. Maybe. I mean, we've gotten two shells out of it. Okay, not two heart flies. pieces. <laughs> no, but it can jump really high. And it can shoot water when it's teamed up with Mario. <clears throat> <laughs> ah, that was her name, right, Robert? Sushi. All right. There we go. I'll play the crane game for one more, and then we'll move on. She had the daughter named Sashimi. That's right. That's a shy guy. So is this one a cheat cheat? Oh, that's a pokey. Oh crap! Where'd the cheat cheat go? Maybe it went into the phone guy's house. Dang it! I thought we knew where this went. You garbage! I wonder if we even get anything of consequence for doing all of these. Beats me. Also, why do you say it like that, man? It's not consequence. Anything of worth or value is what you should say. Made with waterproof paint. <laughs> and there's one more pedestal in there, too. Why is it one of his shy guys? Yeah. Oh, huh. Seriously. That would have made sense. And there are Shy Guys, mm -hmm. so there's probably going to be a Shy Guy figurine. Oh, it's not a figurine, but you can get a profit. No, oh. it's not worth doing if there's no figurine. Well, I can get at least get to 50 rupee. Yeah. I wonder why there's no figurine this time. Maybe, you, maybe you're only a couple pop up per dungeon. Probably. Maybe that could be it. Don't you do it. Okay. <laughs> it's trying to. Now, no, if I don't get the do red... it! <laughs> now, if I get the red rupee as well, that'll pay for it, so I may as well. As long as I don't screw up. You will screw up. I will punch you if it screws up because you said that. It won't screw up because I said that. Yes, it'll it will. Screw up because... You have the power to make things happen, Robert. I also have the power to call things when they weren't going to happen in the first place. <laughs> We're aware. 20 rupees. That's a full refund? I don't make things happen. They were going to happen anyway. I just brought it to your attention. And that's I think Robert's happened. actually a reality bender and he just doesn't realize it. Yes. He's um, Franklin Richards. He just doesn't know it. If I could actually bend reality, I would make myself a millionaire. I'm surprised you didn't go with what I was talking about. And make Galactus your herald. Mm -hmm. I'd make myself thin. <laughs> yeah. You can make yourself thin. It's called diet and exercise. Alright, what were we doing again? Um. Alright, I know what we're doing. Du -du -du -du. This is my favorite song. This one's closer. But I'll go here just in case. Animal Vivi. Ow. Alright, let's see if she gives me anything now. Ow. What? You know, we're back in maybe village. 
Yahoo, a broom! A broom, superb! Also, I think you can talk to her when she doesn't have a broom and she's, like, panicking and stuff. We already did that. Oh, okay. Apparently she used it up. Got the letter to my dearest mister, right? Bravo! I'm not kidding when I say this means a lot to me. I want you to have this seashell as thanks. Oh, hey, that Ooh. is how you get it. Yep. Surprise! I found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, there could be something in it for you. <laughs> Same thing. So she sent the picture of Princess Peach to a guy that she likes. Oh, now that we got this uh, tuning fork, by the way, let's go see if there's anything in Yarna Desert, because I'll literally never be going there again the rest of the game. So you think there's something there? I think there could be. Would it be that surprising? I always thought there was a seashell right here on this corner. I don't hear a ting, though. I think we went up there and got it. Digging in random spots for money. Money. Ow. Seems like maybe there's not anything. That under. skull has eyes. Oh, never mind. It's gonna be up there in one of those two divots in between the cactuses. Probably. Yep, I've called it. Huh. That is a very obvious spot. Incredibly obvious. So I'll we'll be going there soon. Yarner Desert is actually kind of disappointing. It's too dang small and there's nothing really of any importance in it. It's got a lot of surface area and nothing here. Yeah. And it, you don't even have to visit this right section of it. You just go straight north, there's the key, get out of here. At least in the uh, woods you have to go travel through the woods quite a bit pretty much every square to find your way about. I guess that's it. I didn't hear any more dings. Nope. Seems like we're done here. Well, but there was one. That's better than none. Nothing here. At the moment, yeah. I think there was something you needed a, a different dungeon tool to come back for later. In that cave, yeah. I don't remember which I'm one I'm pretty sure I'm getting in this dungeon I'm going to right now. Unless I'm wrong again. That could be the case. Let's see. Catfish's Maw... Oh, I remember the boss for this one. This one is actually kind of difficult. Anyway, let's do the thing we were actually coming to stretch your for. That wasn't it. No, it wasn't. Well, uh, I enjoyed it. Can't do anything there. I need to go north. Yeah, we need to get into the water. I can't do that from here. Ow! You can do it right there, but you can't get around to it. Now you can get around to it. Or you could just get in the water there. Here we go. Yep, straight to a nod to a uh, link to the past. You can go under the bridge. Oh. Isn't this where you got one of the empty bottles? And the original didn't have empty bottles. A link to the past. Oh, yeah, okay. And a link to the past, yes. Oh, what is this that you have in your hand? It's not a fishing hook, is it? No, it's a regular. You better let me have it. I'll give you my next catch if you let me have it. Okay. Keep your eyes open and watch a pro at work. <laughs> Mine is a big one! Da 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 da! You got the. I mean, your fishing hook became a bra! L -l Lucky! Oh, let's see if he says anything else. Ugh. I can't wait to see what I'll catch next. Unfortunately, there's nothing else you can I think here. in the DX version, there was a photograph you can get here where he catches you, or he catches the camera guy, I wanted to. I'm pretty sure it was catching the camera guy. <laughs> that was funny. No. Oh, there's another shell nearby. Yeah. Here's your bra back. Oh, that's it! That's my bra! Give it! Give it back! It's not a bra! I will give you a skill, as I said! What are you doing down there, Link? Promise you'll only take one! Na -na 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 -na. 
You returned the brawl and got a scale of the Maraid's Tail. How will you use this? Whoosh. Alright, I think we're about done screwing around. Um, we need to get up there. I could have already done that. Eh, I'll wait till I come back around. It's time to get. Yeah, Which we have the to, next dungeon. In order to finally, once and for all, finish off the trade quest, we have to finish this specific, specific dungeon. Yep. I need the level weapon from this to finish it off. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, we can't make that jump without it. Even though it looks like we should be able to. I can't wait to see what it is. Although I, I suppose technically you can use a certain feathered friend later. Yeah, but that's later. And you would have this weapon before then. Level 5. This place is nice. I hate these enemies. Ooh, I got the one shot at nice. It's a Helmosaur. Nothing we can do here. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Ow. You have to kill all these enemies, including the Helmosaur, in order to get through. I hate Helmosaurs. Me too. They're a lot easier in Twilight Princess, let me tell you. You got the compass! Now the level weapon nice. for this particular Does area. this give me double double power? Quadruple damage! The level weapon for this particular area is a pain in the butt. You'll see that gimmick soon enough. There's a key in this room. Gee, I wonder how you get it. No. No. No throwing bones at people, it's not nice. Yay! Ding! I almost stood where it was. That was close. I thought it was going to be a chest popping up over there or something. Alright, now see this here? It has four dots. There are four lights. Now, why does it have four dots? Well, uh, well you're going to find out. and It's going to annoy the hell out of you. I'm sorry, I need to quote that properly. There are four Okay, what? this is definitely the dungeon where the hookshot exists. You want to know why? Because recently Robert and I had a discussion where he forgot the hookshot was even in this goddamn, and I just spoiled what the weapon is. You mean the rutabaga? Yeah, but I rem I remember now. I ain't gonna bother rutabagging. It's not. It's not. It's kind of obvious what's here. Especially since there are helmosaurs everywhere and items across gaps that you can't reach normally. But yeah, Robert forgot that item was in. Uh, uh, this game all together, and I told him what dungeon it was in. It was in the dungeon where you had to do the thing, and Robert, Robert completely forgot about this mini boss. Yeah. But not only did he forget about him, he couldn't remember him being in the game at all. Like, is that even a thing? The problem is, this boss is so horrible that I wiped him from my memory. That bad. I never hated it. He's not bad, it's just, it's his gimmick that's annoying. Gee, I wonder what you have to do here. Nothing. Nothing. You don't even have to push the blocks. Ow! But you do have to do something in this room. Is this as simple as killing everything? I can't remember. It's yes. as simple as Hello. killing everything. Sometimes simple is best, Robert. Sometimes, yes. Ow. Not this time. And now, that was stuck. I got a beak. Put it on your nose and be a Rito. I need wings to go with it. Mm, damn. You have a feather. That works. Give me those health. Quit shooting at me. This is a very interesting place. It is not easy to get past this without a specific item. There's no point in trying. I think I need that item in the other room too. Ah! <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> yeah. I'm not taking a bunch of da damage just to get on the other side. And Screw we that. Have to come back. We might actually have to do that. 
in order to progress. Uh, whoops. Nope, there is a place we can go. This way. Well, we're gonna have to figure out what's up there next time, however, because we have run out of time for this episode. Woo! Spinny, spinny, spinny. Goodbye, guys. See you next time. Mid-Dungeon quit out. I was waiting for you guys to say something, but okay. Okay, bye.